Welcome back to KimFood.com. This is Dr. Kim again. Today we're going to talk about three powerful non-invasive food doctor's remedies for heel pain epidemic. The first one is taping. Now, I told you how to tape uh, your own foot now, a self-taping technique, but this is professionally done now. So this is taping, they're high dye taping versus a low dye taping. The only difference is high dye meaning above the ankle, which limits the motion of the ankle joint, which take pressure off the heel. So this is the only kind of uh, uh, taping that I use is high dye taping. This is a, a technique where I put a little skin uh, tape around it to protect the skin. And I'm gonna put the anchor tape, remember the anchor tape that I put around the uh, heel area. And then I use basket weaving, two inch tape around the bottom of the heel. And then I use the top anchor tape to hold the tape together. I tape it once or twice a week for about three to four weeks. And this really helps taking pressure off of it, calming down the inflammation, really helps the patients quite a bit. Uh, second uh, one uh, that I use a lot is called the custom foot orthotics. This is uh, for the extreme foot type. We talked about the flat foot condition or high arch foot condition, very extreme uh, type of foot requires a custom devices. So there are many different ways we cast the device. So we use this box to take a mold of your feet or we use the plaster material to uh, capture your, what we call a neutral position uh, so that we can balance, remember the three legs? The three legs have to be perfectly balanced uh, for your foot to be functioning properly. There are quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of modification you can be, uh, do uh, for the uh, different orthotic devices. This is called the medial flange. So a lot of flat foot people require more uh, support on the arch area, so we use uh, this type of uh, um, uh, modification. And this is for the high arch foot people. We put, put a little indentation to balance the front part of the foot so that it doesn't uh, rotate or it doesn't collapse into certain areas. So uh, this type of modification is for the high arch foot people. Sometimes we make uh, devices that are very thin. Uh, you can see a lot of ladies like to wear tight shoes, so we can modify it according to their shoes that like to wear, and then the foot type, and also your weight issue, so that we can use different materials and different modification to make your orthotics more comfortable for you. Uh, in general, younger people tolerate more rigid devices and if you're over 40 or so, you cannot really tolerate really hard rigid devices anymore so we make it softer device that can, that can be accommodated in your shoes as well. And also uh, for this type of uh, orthotics, it takes about two to four weeks uh, to break in and get comfortable. Initially you're going to have a lot of knee pain, back pain because you're adjusting into a new position of walking so it's important for you to get slowly adjusted to this uh, uh, new set of orthotic devices. The next thing that your foot doctors will uh, probably do is to refer you out to get some therapy, whether it's in-house or referring out to a therapy place. They have a lot of therapy modalities that would really help uh, stimulate the circulation into the area, such as electrostimulation. Uh, it's not diagnostic ultrasound, but the ultrasound is a deep heat into the area to get more circulation into the area. Sometimes we, we put some cortisone or any, any kind of anti-inflammatory medicine uh, into the ultrasound so that that anti-inflammatory medication can penetrate into the area to uh, decrease the swelling on this area as well. You can also uh, get the professional massaging done to get more circulation and also stretching. And uh, there's this uh, brace called a nice split that I use, uh, very, very effective. This is the first thing that I give to my patient to really stretch out on a daily basis. I use it about 30 minutes a day to really stretch out the calf muscle so that uh, it takes tension off the plantar fascia at the same time. We're going to talk about the invasive foot doctor's remedies on the next video. We'll see you there.